Hello there and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this save with England. Now the whole point when I first started this was it was just going to be a beta save at the, at the Euro 2020. Um, if you haven't watched it go back and watch that because it was really really good fun. Um, and then I noticed our UEFA Nations League group was pretty good. We've got France, Iceland and Croatia in it and I just thought actually I'm going to carry this on because I quite like international management. I know it's I know it's not perfect. I know a lot of people don't like it, um, but I thought I would carry it on. Um, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the squad. There's been a lot of changes to the squad from the Euros. We've picked up quite a few injuries, um, and then the next episode we will play France and Iceland. Um, so if we get into it straight away, and we will have a look at the squad. I've got it arranged just on the international stats at the minute. I really don't like this view. There's no detail at all, but it just gives you the caps and everything at the minute. Um, as I say, we've 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 lost a few to injury um, and a few that just aren't playing for their clubs. Uh, so the three goalkeepers are Angus Gunn, Nick Pope and Dean Henderson. Um, Nick Pope's the only one with a cap. Jack... Um, Jack Butland, I think, picked up an injury. Um, I mean, I'll show you the national pool in a second. Uh, I know Jordan Pickford picked up an injury just before I named the squad. Um, so, yeah, those are the three that we've got. Um, Harry Maguire, Chris Smalling, Joe Gomez and John Stones are my centre-backs. Um, Max Ahrens and Trent Alexander-Arnold are the right-backs. It was originally Aaron Wan-Bissaka, but he got injured, so then we called it Max Ahrens. Uh, we've got Luke Shaw and Ben Chilwell as our left-backs. Uh, in midfield, Jordan Henderson, Morgan Gibbs-White, who's been playing for Wolves, um, Raheem Sterling, Jack Grealish, uh, he's coming in potentially his first cap, James Madison's in there, Mason Mount, Jaden Sancho, Deli Alley, Harry Kane and Tammy Abraham. Now the big one here, the observant among you will notice there's no Marcus Rashford in there, but Mason Greenwood is in there. Now Mason Greenwood has earned this call-up, he's keeping Marcus Rashford out of the Manchester United team. Um, he's a wonder kid. He's he's having a good season, as you can see there. He's doing well. He is doing really, really well for them. And the thing I'm loving about being an international manager and not being a club manager at the same time is I'm just watching games over the course of a weekend. I watch a, I watch games virtually every day of the week because that's a beautiful thing about a uh, football manager. Travelling doesn't seem to be a thing, so <laughs> you can go to a game in Germany, Spain, France, England. You can go to games every day of the week. As long as there's an England player playing, I will have a look at that match. And I have seen some absolute crackers. I really have. And Mason Greenwood has been phenomenal so far this season. As you can see, he has um, got three goals in four games for his club. Um, he's also been scoring in the under-21s qualifying campaign as well. So, yeah, he fully deserves it. I mean, look at it. He just looks fantastic, doesn't he? If you're quite a few seasons in... Um, do me a favour, have a look at him, see how he develops, um, and jump in the comments. Let me know. Get on Twitter at Gamer James FM, and um, you know I can and send me a send me a screenshot. Just let me know how good he becomes. Um, so yeah, that is the squad. The other thing that if you are really really observant, you'll notice there's only 22 players. Now I'm not going to lie, it's been a couple of weeks since I played through, and I can't find out whether I've messed up and only picked 22 players or if we lost a player to injury too late to call one up I've been scouting through and I can't find um, a player because we lost Aaron Wan-Bissaka there on the 1st of September but we called up Max Ahrens so I have a feeling I only picked 22 players I've got a feeling I've absolutely messed up there <laughs> so yeah that's so well that's just how it is we're going to carry on with this 4-2-3-1 I like it because we can also uh, drop this guy down into defensive midfield if we need to um, Jordan Henderson can play that role no problem John Stones could play it if we were stuck uh, so yeah I'm really really looking forward to these two games um, as I say if we have a look at the national pool um, Fikeo Tomori is suspended so he couldn't have played anyway um, if we bring up if we set it to the info uh, Aaron Wambasaka's injured I've got a feeling you know I do have a feeling that um, that Jordan Pickford might be all right now is this just this has just got me on uh, yeah this has just got me on defenders at the minute hasn't it so let's bring up all positions is Jordan Pickford still out injured he's on his way back he's on his way back but he, he picked up a he picked up an injury on the 10th of August and he's still a couple of weeks away so yeah and to be fair 
didn't really do well in his one before his one appearance. Uh, Dean Henderson's been playing well. Uh, Nick Pope has been playing, and uh, Angus Gunn has been playing well as well. So that that's the reasons for those guys. And yeah, as I say, if we bring it down, uh, I did look at Che Adams. He was really, really. Um, he's been setting goals up more than scoring them. I've been watching a lot of him. Uh, so he's been doing all right. Um, where is Marcus Rashford on there? I can't see. Where's Marcus Rashford? You're probably all shouting at me, saying he's there. He's there. Cal hudson Adoy and Rian Brewster were all uh, potentials as well. But yeah, they just didn't get in the um, in the team in the end. Phil Foden as well, just never never made it. Um, and for some reason, I cannot find Marcus Rashford in there. Okay, well let's search for him then. Is he not in my? Is he not in my national pool? Um, but this is this is him anyway. Look, he's made one substitute appearance, so I can't pick him. He's just not playing. He needs to play. Um, and I'm hoping um, he is in the national pool. I don't know where he is in there. Then I couldn't see him. Um, but if he isn't playing. I can't pick him. So I'm hoping it might be a bit of a wake-up call for him and it might force him uh, maybe to uh, to think about moving on. Um, so, yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll have to see on that one, I guess. So, yeah, what we've got, we've got a trip to France and then a home game with Iceland. That will be in the next episode because it's perfect. The way they've restructured the Nations League, it's not perfect. It's annoying. They've done it now. They've taken a lot of the fun out of it when it was three team groups. It was fantastic. But Croatia and Germany got relegated, didn't they? And we couldn't have that. So we've uh, we've had to formulate a plan to keep them in it. Um, so, yeah, but it does mean that we've got three lots of two games. So that's what we're going to do. Um, when it comes to 2021 and we've got the... Um, the qualifiers. I probably won't do the qualifiers on camera, but I will do the uh, the Nations League final four if we get to it. Um, and of course, we're building up to the 2022 World Cup, which hopefully we will see as well. Uh, so yeah, jump in the comments. Let me know how you think we're going to get on against these three teams. They're going to be tough. There's no doubt about that. Um, I mean, this double header here in the next in uh, episode three, Croatia and France. That's going to be huge. Uh, but yeah. As always, watch, like, share and subscribe. Jump in the comments and the description and join me for these two huge games against France and Iceland. Let me know right now how many points are we taking out of those two games and are we going to finish in the top two in the group? I will see you very soon for that trip to Paris. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.